We'll check back in with Brian in just a bit, but first we go to CBS 4's Patrick Shalvier. And Patrick, you have been on the island all day as people prepare for the storm, but now things, are they starting to quiet down out there? Yeah, Eddie, good evening. When we first got here this morning, it was a very active and vibrant South Padre Island, but really right now it's it's like a ghost town. It's just really the city is just preparing itself for the arrival of Hurricane Harvey. Now, all day Thursday, residents, business owners here on South Padre Island boarding up their homes and their businesses, all in anticipation for the strong winds and the rains that are expected overnight. The city has spent the day educating visitors on the hazards of being on the island in an emergency situ situation, and they tell us they'll continue to do so for as long as they can. Now, if winds reach more than 50 miles an hour, the city says they plan on shutting down the causeway, leaving residents and visitors on the island until the storm passes. But the news of the hurricane approaching isn't stopping everyone. We talked to several people, in fact, who plan on staying, but not without taking some steps to prepare. I've been through two tropical depressions so far, but never a, uh, a hurricane like this. So, but I mean, it's supposed to hit north of us. So, yeah, we did tornadoes in Nebraska. Like hurricanes are. I mean, I just got back from Hawaii, so like coming down, just seeing everything boarded up, it was like, oh yeah, no, this is real. Like, is it? No, it's crazy. All beach access points across the island have already been shut down and only residents with city stickers will be allowed back onto the island once the causeway is shut down. Eddie, right now this is all just a holding pattern for the city as we await what Hurricane Harvey will send our way. For now, live on South Padre Island, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.